let's start with your reading capricorn today we are going to look into your current situation we're going to look at your energy your person's energy or external energy and then we're going to look at what's coming up for you next that you might not know about yet now let's start with your first message okay the answers you need are coming this is your first message for the day what i'm seeing capricorn is that there is a lot on your mind this is not something that you often focus on this is something that right now is in a way demanding your attention and you keep thinking about this and the more you think about it the less you understand about the situation Right here, there is something important that someone is not saying. Someone is keeping inside and not sharing it with the other person. It could be a question. It could be a fear. It could be confusion overall. And potentially, this person is not sharing it for the sake of peace, balance. But the issue is that they are ending up compromising and neglecting their own needs. And this is something that it's growing bigger and bigger every day what you might not know is that there is an actual undergoing shift in the situation it might feel uncomfortable at the moment but later on you will see that it's going to be fundamental so let's see what the shift is about let's see where it's going to take you to let's start with a reading let's do our three shuffles and let's begin <clears throat> shift right here will of fortune a change in season something fundamental something very big here is changing <laughs> okay all right look at this all the cards are aligning with the first message all of them starting from the main energy which for you today guess what is the moon so clearly there is a lot of confusion here but the moon is also talking about fears there is someone here who is scared when it comes to the type of attachment they have with this person or the, ty the type of attachment they had with them and that still is alive in their heart. In a way, this is representing a turning point, but you're not seeing it yet that way. It just feels like a setback. It just feels like something that might hurt if it's not hurting already. So there is much more behind this moon energy and we're starting to see right here. First of all, in the center of the reading, as we have already anticipated, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is clearly talking about a shift. It's talking about something that is changing around you and potentially inside of you as well, Capricorn, which will change the dynamic and the situation completely. What we see right here is that this is a long overdue shift, something that had to happen in your life and that perhaps you kept postponing because up to this point, this wasn't your main priority. This wasn't where you wanted to put your effort, your focus. There were other things potentially more practical that you wanted to focus on and you kept postponing this. But now the will of fortune is forcing you in a way to look into this and to go through this shift. We'll see what this is about and where it's going to take you to as soon as we start clarifying. But don't get frustrated about the changes and the unknown because all the changes bring unknown into your life. Don't get frustrated about it. Don't feel like you're um, doing the wrong thing and that you're stuck because this is actually something that has to happen right now. We'll see why. Now, your energy is coming up as the one of the Four of Pentacles. And we potentially see right away that the person who is holding back and who is not sharing something in the situation might be you. The Four of Pentacles is someone who is very protective of something that they think, something that they feel, because they're afraid that if they let it out, 
They're going to be too transparent. They're going to lose control and they're going to regret it eventually. The Four of Pentacles might be talking about someone who is starting to feel a little jealous as well. And you know, the more I look into this energy, the more I see that you didn't plan for this, Capricorn. You were not looking for love. You were not looking for anything that might have brought unbalance into your life. Even if it came in with happiness as well, you weren't ready for this yet. But nevertheless, it happened. This attachment came along and it's not something that you can really control. Right now, you're starting to feel things that you potentially uh, promised yourself you would never feel. You see yourself in a situation that it's starting to develop a dynamic that it's not what you were looking for, but you might feel that you're way too deep in and that right now, there is not really an easy way out. And so you're trying to understand what to do. Should I keep it for myself? Should I forget about how I feel? Should I forget about my doubts, my, my questions? Or should I talk about all of this and in a way or another, getting out of this toxic cycle that I find myself in, even if it's just about thoughts and fears? So clearly right now you are confused as to what to do next. And hopefully with the next few messages, I'll be able to give you some more clarity and some advices. As far as your person goes, six of wands. This is potentially also how you are seeing them right now. This is someone who gets a lot of attention or who potentially can get a lot of attention. This is someone who maybe likes to get the attention. Someone who dressed to impress someone who has had some improvement potentially in their looks, someone who is successful right now at something that they're doing. And there is also some sort of change in their behavior, you know, things that they wouldn't do before, now they're doing. And this is potentially what is throwing you off the most. Because you're starting to realize that you don't really know this person, that you don't really know uh, what it is that maybe they're looking for right now, or potentially their goals have changed. There is a transformation with the Wheel of Fortune, and you're afraid that this person is drifting away from you. Even if they're not saying so, there is something that you're perceiving, especially with the moon energy, main energy for the reading, you are very in touch with your intuition, with your inner voice. But the challenge when the moon comes up is in making sure that you're listening to your intuition and not to your fears, because often we mistake the two. And right here, that's why you feel stuck, because you don't know if what you're feeling, it's something that is rooted in reality or if it's just about fears and fear of losing something that you were not looking for, but that right now is part of your foundation and something that you do not want to give up on, Capricorn. Now, you're, we will see more about this person, and we will see also if there is something that they're hiding as soon as we clarify their energy. As far as your challenge, the Empress, don't forget who you are, Capricorn. Don't forget how amazing you are, how worthy you are. Because when we start falling into that cycle of jealousy, of insecurities, we start forgetting about how worthy we are of people who show us love and who fight for us. And so this is the challenge for you. Do not change. Do not change your who you are, your behavior, everything that you have been up to this point. You should stick with that because that's what makes you special. And I know that it's very easy to just change and to just be afraid in that moment that maybe you're losing someone very special to you. And it's easy to change your behavior, to maybe act jealous, to check their phone, but you know that this is not who you are. You know that this is not who you want to be. Potentially right here, you feel that at this moment in time, this person might be bringing out the worst in you. And you do not want to be like this. You do not want to check their phone. You do not to be that person who always is afraid that they're thinking about someone else, talking to someone else. That's a nightmare. 
And honestly, you have better things to do with your time, with your energy. Your challenge is to make sure that this is not going to impact your image of yourself. Your challenge is making sure that you're not going to lose your identity in this. Okay. Very, very important. Now, coming up and you don't know it, there is a conversation. I mean, the five of ones is clearly talking about communication, uh, exchanging different point of views. And I will not hide that this is not going to be easy, at least at first. This is the first attempt. And potentially, since this is something that you have kept inside for a long time, Capricorn, you might say the wrong thing or you might express the right thing in the wrong way. There is something right here that comes up and you're like, oh, wow, why did I say it that way? But the other person wants to talk to you. There is something right here that they want to tell you, which potentially you are not expecting. Right here, we see that this is going to be the turning point right underneath the wheel of fortune this conversation here will change everything for the better or for the worse after this the two of you will get to the next chapter where together or apart we'll have to see but this right here it's definitely going to bring in all the answers that you need it's not going to be easy right away, but again, this is necessary. This is not something you can postpone anymore. And after this, trust me, Capricorn, I feel it in my bones. You will feel much better, regardless of what comes up. Because sometimes we don't realize how painful it is to keep something inside. We think that it's the best thing to do, but in the long run, it it's going to hurt us even more. So... We have a lot more to look into right here. Someone is going to take the lead and the information coming up. It's going to change it all for you. It's going to bring a revolution in this situation. And it's also going to change your beliefs about this person. How? We'll have to find out. So let's, first of all, focus a little bit more on this person to see what they really feel for you. Are they hiding anything? Let's look more into what they bring onto this situation and then we'll see what this incoming energy will be about the conversation and how this situation is bound to evolve in the next few months also let's see what else is coming your way next that you should absolutely know about today if you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, Capricorn, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well, please. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Capricorn. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the star. And the first thing that we see right here is that this situation is going to evolve quick. Number 16, number 17. As soon as this information is revealed to you, as soon as this in energy will come in, we'll see that it's going to immediately take you to the next step, to the next level. And with the star, we have some good signs. We have some good news overall. The star is talking about finding hope again feeling as though you are going to be okay, Capricorn, which right now you're finding it hard to believe because you're really going through it. You're going through a lot. Maybe you're losing your sleep. You are finding it hard to do what you usually do every single day. And you are definitely losing your identity in this a little bit. You need answers. These answers are coming. And from what we see so far, at least, they are going to bring a very positive change. But <laughs> the devil is in the details, as you know. So let's see what this is all going to be about. Starting from the six of wands, your person's energy, let's look more into their energy to see what they bring, they bring into the situation, what they feel for you, and if they are hiding anything that you should know about.
10 of wands, sorry, 10 of swords with the two of pentacles, six of pentacles, ah, seven of cups. You know, I look at this. What did I just say? I just said by mistake, 10 of wands. I felt that it was coming up. <laughs> and right here we get the confirmation. Wow, there is so much that you don't know about this person. It's literally give me goosebumps. There is something right here that you don't know about them that comes up whenever they think about you. And I do believe that this will start already to give you some answers and to change your point of view when it comes to this situation. The first thing that we've seen